Hi guys, it's Tasha. Sorry, you, I didn't press the button in time. You see how close this flower is to me? The hummingbird was like right here. Oh my God, it was so exhilarating. <laughs> wow. Anyway, I came out here to do a video. Oh, sorry, two minutes with Tosh. You see how beautiful it is today? And even if you don't like clouds, just agree. Trust me, it would be easier on you. Ha ha ha. <laughs> and though it's cloudy, it's warm and serene and peaceful and the birds are singing, the hummingbirds. Oh my gosh, his little bzz, bzz, it was so loud. It sounded more like one of those black and yellow fat bumblebees, whatever bees they are, you know, the stereotypical yellow and black ones. It was just so beautiful, wow. For a split second in time, I thought I was on some beautiful lush farm since that hummingbird came to greet me, singing her song of joy. What song of joy are you singing right now? Don't give me that look, I see you. Your song of joy can be anything you want. It's your choice to be grumpy or sad or in pain or whatever other emotion you might be in. It's a choice. Choose to feel however you feel because no matter how someone else acts, the whole situation only depends on your reaction. How do you choose to react? Even if your boss pissed you off, it's still your choice how to react. It's your choice how to receive anything. We women are often offended, poor men, because I don't know of, you know, lesbians that think, oh, she made me feel like this. I don't, well, okay, I don't even know, maybe one gay man I've ever heard him and his husband he made me feel so bad because I did such and such and such and he just gruffed or, you know, whatever. Obviously, I can't tell you the real situation. You might know who he is. They are. So that's why in this case, <laughs> uh, it's the boy-girl thing. And, you know, we girls are just so oversensitive about every little thing, which is crazy, because when someone is taking the time to be honest with you, you think you would just love them more. <clears throat> and today, I sit in this joyous place with the clouds covering some of the blue sky. Most of the blue sky. Well, at least from where I'm standing. <laughs> yes, we really do have two fireplaces. <laughs> I know somebody's going to ask. You know, I mean, whatever your joy is, it's up to you to put you there. It's not up to a man. It's not up to a woman. It's not up to the hummingbird. It's not up to anyone but you to put you in that frame of mind and this is the main reason why I stay stuck there for 55 years I've just been stuck on Pollyanna everything is good and wonderful because I know news exists I know children are getting you know beaten and molested I know men in California get more beaten by their wives than any other state you know yeah really you google it I already did I know the world exists but in my mind, there's only peace and tranquility and bliss and happiness so that I can take all that crap in and say, oh, that's happening there, that's happening there. Oh, look, on Facebook, it says we had an earthquake in, in Africa. And, you know, and I know those things exist. But my reality is this. Let me show you what my reality is. That is my reality. That is my reality. Look at that. Perfection. Perfection. And you're like, well, Tasha has bugs. I don't see any bugs. That is perfection. Look at that. 
I wish I were that great. Well, I know I'm great, <laughs> but I mean, it's a flower, and it's probably saying the same thing about me. Look at that. Look at that. How can you not look at that and at least smile? Smile, damn it. I order you. <laughs> look at that. It's so fluffy, like me. Look at that one. You know? So, it's only up to you how you choose to look at things. They say, is the glass half full or half empty? The glass is full and flowing over all the time, flowing down onto the other glasses or onto the table, which will go onto the floor to feed the cats and dogs. You know? The glass is full. It's half air and half water. It's full. Yeah, this is no longer two minutes with Tosh, I know, but I just wanted to show you. Oh, there. Here comes the sun. Do -do -do -do. Here comes the sun. And I say, it's all right. Who sang that song? Back in 1968. I'm joking. I don't know. Um, and I don't want... It's way up there. You can't see it. Damn it. Okay, I know one of you out there have a... You're buying a $5,000 camera. Give me your old $1,000 camera so I can instantly zoom in on those beautiful hummingbirds. I know they're up there. I heard them doing that zzz, zzz, zzz thing. <laughs> oh, it's just so beautiful. And I'm standing out here in my nightgown. Yeah, I don't care. They'll just call me a crazy old lady, so... Pfft. Where are you? It's up there somewhere. I can hear it. Anyway, yeah, I don't care if you call me a crazy old lady. I'm having the time of my fucking life. Being out here, it's so... It's warm enough not to have to have... Not to need a sweater, jacket, whatever. And it is so fucking beautiful. I mean, look at that. Look at that beautiful dandelion that's growing there. Yes, I told her, don't you cut that. I'm going to get me some vitamin E pills, and then I'm going to put that in a bottle and probably put a drop of witch hazel in there to preserve it. Yeah, so the dandelion, yeah, it heals. Oh, you can't even see it anymore. Look. Yeah, I cut myself. Oh, sorry. It was actually this finger. Sorry. I'm right-handed. <laughs> Let me see. I was holding it this way. Oh, so it was this finger. You can't even see the mark, can you? Yeah, so Dandelion did that. After all the gl gushing of bleeding stopped, I went, ran downstairs, <coughs> excuse me, dug up a plant like that, as the landlord is saying, thank you for pulling my weeds, and I'm like, you're welcome. <laughs> and you put the milk on there, I'm telling you, in four days, it was totally healed, totally, totally, where the mind goes, the behind follows. So, yeah, let's just rethink how we think of things all things and you'd be like tasha that's not realistic well depend you think what you want to think and i'll think what i want to think but to me it's totally realistic to try to have as much as a, of a positive outlook on everything everything not just when somebody gives you birthday presents or not just when some man says babe you look good in that dress or whatever Hi, Cece. You're looking good today. You hungry? Okay, I'll give you some kibbles in a minute, okay? You're shivering. You should go in the garage. It's nice and warm in there. Yes, it is. You want to come say hello? No? Okay. You ain't got no food, lady. It's my choice how I see things. It's my choice how I put deadlines on things, you know? It's my choice to only be uh, frustrated and in deep think mode over XYZ situation for two hours. I'm not going to sit here and waste a whole week being upset over something I can't change. 
Oh, you don't like the oil I put on last night after my shower, eh? Well, how rude. It's my choice. It's your choice. How you choose to see each and everything that affects your life. And after a while, I noticed things weren't moving. I wasn't getting as many customers. I wasn't getting as, as much money energy flowing. I wasn't getting as much male attention. And I had to really stop and think, you know? What did I do? Where, where did I get off the path? Let me get back on. And now I've got wonderful men vibrating with me, women, children, cats, dogs, hummingbirds. <laughs> oh, it's just so beautiful. I wish you were here. I wish you were here. Mm. I wish you were here. Yeah, you know who you are. So peaceful. Go find something to feel peaceful about. Here, let me show you some more flowers as we close. And I say one of the many prayers my, my mama taught me. Divine love blesses and multiplies all that I am, all that I have, and all that I will be. Amen. Ache. So it is. So mote it be. <laughs> I love you guys. Have a great day.